Math Monday. Today's featured game is called Capture Five. Today, you and a partner are going to work together to dun -dun -dun -dun, capture five numbers. The first thing you and your partner need to do is pick a game board. So we're going to start off today with this game board. But again, you and your partner can pick any of the five. What you will notice is your game board and your playing cards don't all fit on the page. So you're going to come over here to the three dots, click on it, and adjust your zoom to around 75% so that everything can fit. So here's the object of the game. Again, you and your partner are going to da -da -da -da, capture five numbers. You're going to start off by covering up your game board with these playing chips. There are 12 of these, so you and your partner are going to pick 12 numbers on the board to cover up with your playing chips. So let's fast forward. Ah, ta -da. We've covered up 12 numbers. What you will notice is that there are no more than one chip per row. A row goes from left to right, and you may only have one red playing chip in each row. Your columns may have more than one chip. Columns go from top to bottom, but your rows from left to right may only have one red chip in them. And then you are going to pick a starting number. So I'm going to pick a row that does not have a playing chip in it, and I'm going to start in that row. Because I can't start here because I'm breaking the rules. I can't have more than one playing chip per row. So I'm going to move this back here to 97. So my starting number is 97. You and your partner are going to try to make combinations or number strings that will get you to a different number. So in your Nearpod, you would record your number strings on this recording sheet. But I'm just going to record it here today. So our starting number is 97. Now, if I hop into a breakout room with you and your partner, I would expect to hear you all talking or discussing different ways that you might be able to get to a different number. So I might hop in your room and hear something like, oh, 97 plus 1 would get me to 98. But I don't know if that's the move we need to make. Maybe 97 plus 30, 10, 20, 30. Mm, I don't think that's it. Oh, you're right, partner. Let's take a look here. Let's try 97 subtract 10. Let's see what that's going to look like. So I'm going to add that to my number string. 97 minus 10. Let's take a look here and do a jump of 10 backwards. 97 minus 10. That gets me to 87. All right, partner, what should we do next? Should we add three? One, two, three. No, that's not the thing we should do. Oh, I heard it. Say it again. You're right. Now we need to use the subtract two. So now let's count backward two. One, two. Bum, ba, da, bum. We've captured our first number. Let me update my number string. 97 minus 10 minus 2 more equals 85. So we have captured our first number. So again, you would record that actually here on your Nearpod. We've, we've captured our first number, so I'm going to use, we've used these cards. So you would move those out of the way and deal out two new cards. And you would try again. You would keep going until you and your partner have captured at least five different numbers. If you and your partner get really good at working together, I challenge you to try a different game board above 200. I also challenge you to see if you can do your own and play against each other. Who would capture five first? All right, get out there and play. Have fun.